how to step up your average 3D printer to the next level. Taking this to this. Ooh, this thing is sick. Okay, so being honest, I have no clue how to work with CNC's. Just bought this bad boy, put it together, and uh, this is all trial and error. Holy cow. Are you freaking kidding me? Freaking screwed up and I broke the bit that was working for me. Shot this way and immediately broke off the bit. Dude, there's a pretty big learning curve for a CNC. Try to travel from here to go start, broke it off. I ran this whole thing, it's almost done. I'm to the last three holes, one, two, three, four holes, and my drill bit has clogged up one more time. Oh, this looks, dang, look at that. Oh, look at this door. This has to be like 30 pounds of acrylic. Let's build this bad boy. Very excited. Hopefully I don't mess up my print. That is freaking neat. Let's pop on the hinges. Look at that, heck yeah. Okay, I've designed the tiniest little handles for this. I decided to go really minimalistic. It's a friction fit. So this just slides right in there. Check this out. This little guy slides through and this friction fits in. Look at that, a little tiny door handle. Okay, just doing some test prints, getting this working. These will have a tendency to actually sort of swing open. So what I've done is I've designed some pretty cool little easy magnetic door catches. Check it out. I just need to glue these on, but look at that. Very freaking cool. Okay, all said and done, this printer enclosure turned out so sick. Turned out so clean, absolutely love it. Some people are gonna comment below, why not just buy a printer with an enclosure already? You could do that, but for me, half the fun, I already had this printer, was designing and catting and just the challenge of making this cool box. And I've got a lot more really, really cool ideas in the works to use with my CNC machine and acrylic. But yeah, this thing turned out sick. The reason I have this printer in the first place, I design and sell a lot of custom gear for surfboard shaping and filming. This was just a fun way of sort of putting to use what I had. A lot of you guys might be wondering what this is that was time-lapsing while putting this together. It looks a little sus. Hold on. Oh, that fits so tight. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be demonetized for sure. This is my DIY water housing. GoPro on top, Sony ZV-E1. Side handle straight from the factory, but then a custom pistol grip. This thing is amazing. This makes surf photography and videography so much better. So yeah, strangely phallic, but perfect. Yeah, and I've got a whole video coming out on this. This is how I get all my water shots.
So my basement runs pretty cold. It's sort of chilly down here. It doesn't get a ton of the house heat. I popped a thermometer in there and I noticed that my temperature fluctuations fluctuate less. It's a lot more solid and my prints have been coming out a lot nicer because of it. I've already printed a bunch of parts on this and they're just coming out so clean now. So all said and done, this is a super cool project. Comment below if you have any questions or if anyone wants the files. Uh, maybe I can post them online somewhere and like and subscribe because we've got a lot more really cool stuff going.